starting my Russian bar build. Uh, behind me, we've got uh, one of the carbon fiber poles. We'll take a look at that. Cleaning it up. Times three. There we go. Three clean poles stripped. Ready for taping. Middle pole and outside pole tape marked out. Ready to start putting them together. That's the Diaja. Boom, all taped up. Ready for gluing. I separated the tape by one foot increments. Pre-wrapped on the middle bar. That way I uh, didn't get much torque between the uh, the poles during taping and I didn't pull the tape very hard. This is really just to kind of keep it in place during the gluing process. I also ran a nice straight square box over it to make sure it's all level. First side all glued up. Ran beads all the way down. Smushed it down with the finger, made it nice and glossy. Two tubes, one tube per side. Now I gotta wait for about an hour, flip it over, do it again. Measure out the center. Seven and a half for this baby. And center and the top marked. Two pieces of quarter inch natural fiber twine, about five foot in length, center marked. We're gonna lay these in between the poles starting from the center, working our way in either direction, skipping the tape. So I'll cut the twine, start it again over here, and then uh, laying it in with silicone. Uh, this is to flatten the bar a little bit before I put the landing pad on, since the landing pad's kind of soft. Oh yeah, time to glue the ends too. All right. Rope is all glued in, smushed down, and waiting to dry. Oh, the little guy does not want to stay down. Got to remind him to stay down while they're drying. Yep. Also glued the ends. I just got to wait for this to dry so I can flip it over and install the shoulder pad block ends. All right, looks like the end glue is dry. That's holding, it's holding in the, uh, the wooden plugs that were cut. Um, and the reason for those is uh, when we attach the shoulder pad block end, um, we will be using uh, metal bolts and uh, we don't want that to crush the fiberglass pole. So those were just put in to kind of reinforce the ends a little bit. Um, it also makes it easier to set the pole down on the ground and uh, not tear up your shoulder pad since it'll be just slightly bigger than the pad itself. Uh, check the rope over here. Rope is nice and dry. Feels like a flatter surface already. All right, time to flip her. Marked out the holes, clamped it to the end. 
on the proper side. Ready to go. All right, blocks drilled. Put some Loctite on these puppies. Using these guys from underneath. Go. And there we go. Both ends finished. That's a block end right there. Nice hard piece of wood. Flush screws. And we use these flush screws on the top side. So you don't poke the base. Some extra silicone. Keep those plugs in there. That'll harden. And then I tape the shoulder pads just in place. And this is pretty dense inch and three quarter foam. Both ends. Time to flip her over and put the landing pad on. Alrighty. Got the landing pad centered, tacked in and then tape at the ends so that I can just get at her. The ladding pad is quarter inch neoprene, uh, very similar to uh, you know, sweat belts and whatnot. And I stacked up three sheets to make a total of three quarter inch neoprene. Uh, I made it just slightly wider than the bar so that as it gets taped down, it makes a nice wrap, kind of a rounded platform. Feels nice and flat though, that rope worked. So, now it's time to tape. Halfway taped. All right, fully taped. Double up the white on the landing pad and add colors. And there we go. She's all done. Colors added. Edges bound, double wrapped. I use black for contrast in the no land zone, white for the landing pad, center marked, and then gray for the shoulder pads, base position. She's beautiful. Can't wait to use it.